Anyway, e, czy ktoś jeszcze nie jest, zaczynamy grać w The Beginner's Guide, e, G od twórców, G od twórców, and the Stanley Parable, świetnego tytułu, ciekawe, ciekawe, jak wyjdzie kolejna gra autorstwa tego dewelopera, zobaczymy. Tylko sobie tutaj przechwycę jeszcze, bo mi brakuje tyle. I okej, okay, jest działa. Przechwytuję, przechwytuję. Opcją, a tylko kilka rzeczy. Po, 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 po. Widełko. Nie ma zmiany języka, co? Dobra. W sumie to i tak nie ma, nie ma większego znaczenia. Po prostu lecimy. Begin the game. A czekaj, czy ja napisy dodałem? Oj, włączone. Please make sure audio is on. No, działa. Działa. Audio działa. Poruszamy się w ASD i myszką. Dobra. Zobacz. Zobaczmy, z czym to się je. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. O, My name is Davy Reedon. I wrote the Stanley Parable. O. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today. I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. Oh. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. Czekajcie, mój zanim będziesz mówił dalej, e, napisy, napisy. Nie, bo okej, okay, to nie, nie, jakoś nie przeszkadza, ale... E... Czy ja jestem ślepy? Najwyżej trudno. Będziemy jechać jak będziemy jechać. Let's go. You can walk around here by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. Mm -hmm. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town. And instead, this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Huh. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So, it's 2000. Yeah, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet. He just makes them and then immediately abandons them, and they sit on his computer forever. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to "important games folder." So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made until suddenly one day he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting. And I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look oh. at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. 
This first one was made in November 2008. Wow. Gra, która nie dość, że jest, nie wiem, takim przebiciem czwartej ściany. Jest czymś w stylu na wzór gipsologiczny. This game is called Escape from Whistler, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. It kinda looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But no. then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. No, tak, you can't even reload proof. the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Koda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And huh? I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Ja kurde, ale to jest super. Wow. Wow. Może i widać, że tu mamy wielki szczęście do wejścia ten, ten, ten paseczek, znaczy paseczek. To są, nie wiem, skraj, skraj pudła. Apparently this space station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Dzięki. Ja okay, chciałem sobie przejść przez parę ten ten. The game has this narrative about the discrepancy and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? Yes, no. Let me pause here for a second. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Wow. Gdzie to jest? Nie żyje. Wow. Lol. Labirinty, przejście. The beam causes the floating. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how Whoa. small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but What's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. The puzzle was behind her. Yep, in this game you can only walk backwards. Lol. Hey, kurde, go się miał dobry pomysł. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Oh, cool! They're fine, eh? 
Ciekawy pomysł na gry, przynajmniej gry indie. Wyszła cię w tył. Lul. Confronted. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works. Because it works. Okay, next one. You are now entering. So entering. Kurde, co ten koda? Co ten koda typu? Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Ale oto chodzi, bo szuni tego w ogóle nie mają sensu. Tak by go się włączył, nie wiem. Pierwszy lepszy silnik postawił kilka przymiotów i tyle. To początek koniec. Ale serio, co to ma być? I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all. But what are you gonna do? Koda, jakiś typu koda jego kumpel tworzy dziwne gry. Once you slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Koda's not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed, so you can enter the door for yourself. Kurde. Gościu filozof się znalazł. You walk around talking people down for pressuring play. Ło kurde! Shaga trying to eat you. Oh, you construct a wall. The wall is a room that's warm. And nice, and filled with little ideas for games. What the hell? What is happening? I'm just enjoying my peace. Koda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Wiesz co, Demciu, to co to za gra? To jest The Begin Beginner's gra, e, Guide. Gra, albo raczej już nie tyle gra, co po prostu jakby taki manifest e, twórcy The Stanley Parable, który mm, zrobił projekty swojego kumpla e, Kody, tak się by to nazywa Koda, e, który też tworzył gierki, ale żadną z, ze zrobiony, z stworzonych przez siebie gierek, z e, stworzonych przez siebie gierek, nie ukończył i wszystkie walił do kosza. To było pytanie teoretyczne. O, o, o. Już wszystko chciałem na to odpowiedzieć. Bo to kurde jest no, dość ciekawe, dość ciekawe. Ja tym mówiąc, kiedy tworzysz grę, jak tworzysz grę, nie wiem. Um, dla, dla zabawy tak powiedzmy. A tu kurde ten typu, ten koda, tworzy, tworzy gry. Nie wiem, że pokaże swoje myśli i wie, to całkiem ciekawy sposób to zrobił. Trochę jakby nie dowartościowany, ale... Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Oh. We're gonna see it a lot. Kurde, kulki jakieś. Lul. Co, co, co się tu dzieje? So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. No tak. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. O kurde, się boję. O, ciesz. What the f... What the f... What... Oh, holy fuck. Ja. How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. 
Sort of my bitch. find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? Wow. Wow. O, znowu tutaj jesteśmy? Aha. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Lol. The great and lovely descent. Oh, damn it, Let's talk about domek. video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, no which tak, determines what the game działa. can and cannot do. Uh -huh. So, in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. No, właśnie, ten jest silnik. Pamiętajcie, silnik to nie jest grafika. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Oh, cool. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at <laughs> producing linear, boxy corridors. Ło! Cokolwiek bym je zrobił, to zawsze mi tutaj by to wrzucało. A, to jest nie Aha, tu jest nie działa się, jak to nawet widać. Lol. Co ten koda? Co ten ty? O luj tu chodzi. Po szczęście jest to w sumie przerażające. Ło! Wow. O, o! Winda. Nie wiem, to są straszne gry, idę stąd. Tu chcę, żebym szedł. This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Lol. This is something Lol. he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. Wall. Lol. Ten koda to zaczyna być przyjaźnym typem. To jest nagle podjąć z ludźmi pewnie. Ej, sobie tak ja zaczynam być przyjaźnym trochę. Z samego względu, że ten typ jest przyjaźnym, który tworzy te gry. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. 
Lol. Lol. Oh. Uh. Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Yeah, so, so. Lol, o co tu chodzi? Ej! Lol? So we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. No. Blokowiska, jakieś lampka. It's a lamp post. No lampa, no właśnie okay. widzę. I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason Coda fixates on this lamp post. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. That's not, and he can only really float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. No to jest beznadziejny ten twórca. Ma umiejętność, ma umiejętność się tworzyć gry, ale nie ma wyobraźni. Nie ma jakiegoś... Nie potrafię znaleźć swojej celu. Ulala. Ale jaja. Co tu się dzieje? This game is going to interest. You walk around, you can leave notes. Notes you see are left by other players. I zoom not. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. To teraz gościu ma, nie wiem, jakiś... Aha, czyli gościu to jest jakiś niekochający nikogo bez wiary w siebie typu... I próbuje znaleźć uznanie we własnych oczach. Ha! Hello. O kurde. 
Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. But it's ironic, isn't it, that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. No, nieźle. No, nieźle. Ja jeszcze raz spotkam się z jakąkolwiek grą, która jest grą sama sobie filozo filozoficzną, psychologiczną. Która nie skupia się na zabawie, a nie wiem, przez zrozumienie sensu istnienia. We will all die someday. Już czego typa lubię. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between the spaces, before you move on, you'll get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together to grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Masz szczerze do opisania, co tu się dzieje? Oj, lampa znowu. Tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Lampki, światła. Kurde. Co się dzieje? O co tu chodzi? Like, Whoa. this is it, the whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool, here's version two.
Uh, daj większe zdjęcie konia. Chcę zobaczyć zdjęcie konia. O, oszuszkuje. Dawaj światełka Tesli. I dał zwykłą lampkę. And the table. You need the table. Udało o co tu chodzi? Wow! What the f... There's a bit more to this one, but still it's not really communicating anything. It's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. So okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello, please work for right. Okay. This guide will enable you to escape a prison environment. Follow the instruction carefully. Take care. Do you remember each step? First, click on the table. Whoa! Good. Go over to photo frame and click to turn the start. Ej, znowu te same kulki. Ale dobra. Now turn the floor blamby out of... Uh, turn it, ok, lampka. No, aha. A, i włączyć. Now, go to the left side sofa. Move it over a little. Left side. Chyba, że mówimy o tej sofie. Finally, touch the shelves. Ah, uh, the shelves. That's it. In a real prison, the sky will now open. Return to start to be taken back to your prison. Okay. What the fucking hell? And of course. Now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside Whoa. and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense <laughs> against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. Oh. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Session Gilkey death. Na, labirinty. Gdzie jest strona światła? Pozwolisz mi tam wejść? Hello, who is this? Hi, it's me. I'm, free. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. Oh, you and me? Check your badge. So you are trapped in this prison too? Yep. It's a conversation. And so this is what Koda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Koda talking to himself.
Strzyż da się palić, strzyż da już się do pala, syna nie ma w domu. Jest. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To by było ciekawe. To me this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as well. Oh, cool, the two months, nice. The cafe and the music. Gdzie o czyszczeniu? No co? Oczywiście ja muszę to umyć. Czekaj, bo się zamyśliłem, nawet nie wiem co mam zrobić. Tak dziwne. To jest tak dziwne. No, ja umyłem teraz, a jak te tube nie klink. Jaki tube? A co to był tube? Co to jest tu? Halo, zapomniałem słowa tu. Co to jest tu? O, ja, poczekajcie.
Halo, widzimy się ponownie. Dostałem logika. Będziemy jeść logika, grając jednocześnie w dziwną grę. No dobra. To właśnie już szło. To nasz miałem zobaczyć, co to był tub. A, wanna. Dobra. Dobra, lecimy wannę wyczyścić. Eee, tu jest. Dobra. Oszczątałem wszystko, co dalej. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. And eventually <laughs> something meaningful. Spokojna gira, żeby sobie... Spokojna gira, żeby sobie tutaj coś poczyścić. <śmiech> Trochę to szalone, ale... Gry, które przełamują czwartą ścianę Gry takie spokojne Z odrobinką Nazwijmy to uh, Elementów psychologicznych Ale to jest super Będzie ostatni odcinek był niezły A tu się alki są zgodzę Tak Tak chwila chwila jak mówią A tym złym był Fucking hell Że co takiego? Ale że... Ja bym się nigdy nie spodziewał, ale to nigdy bym się spodziewał, że ta osoba Była tym złym, no nieźle skoczyli Ale mówiąc, ale kiedy to się zrobi coraz lepiej Myślałem, że Mitsuki, a właśnie ja nie Oczywiście, nie może Muzyk stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave The door at the top of the hill is now open as well Again You can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Ale moje ciało, które się to zapowiada, co jest lepiej, co jest lepiej. No, lampa. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Jednak chcą to pewnie wiem, a to prawda, to prawda. Więc co raczej oboje wiemy, wiemy co się stanie w ostatnim odcinku. Więc raczej to już nie będzie nic, co nas zaskoczy. Stu... O, wykłady. Raczej wiem, co się będzie działo w tym odcinku. Ale kurde, to ładnie nas zaskoczyli. A sobie stałem ci całą serię piła, bo w tym roku poświęcam tak wchodzi nowa część. Zupiła. Dajcie spokój.
Lul. A to jestem fanem Tilego Chyrk. Ale właśnie nie. Nie nienawidzę strasznych filmów. Nienawidzę. Nie widzę chorych. O kurde. And you play as the teacher. And suddenly you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. What the freaking hell? Ale chyba zbliżamy się do końca. Ale to było dużo dłużej niż wszystkie inne dla Koda, żeby zrobić. To było 4 miesiące między tym i tym ostatnim. To jest dwie razy dłużej niż to trwało, żeby zrobić inną grę do tego. I to nie jest tak, że jest to bardzo particularly kompleks. Wow! Ale pamiętam, że znalazłem to trochę dziwne w tym momencie. Mój! Taki kiepski ten mój. Poluj chodzi. No. Happy. Focus. Tu za spór. Wise. I nic. Czyli nie powinien się ożywać, widzieliśmy na nasz odcinek. Czyli możemy sobie gadać bez cenzury, bo to bo stąd nikt tego nie będę. No w sumie, jaki czy no w sumie może rację. Tutaj nikt nie ogląda animu. A tym bardziej na no, to boju to. O, dzięki wielkie za followa Matthews Graphics. Dzięki, dzięki, dzięki. O, get them, no i o co tu chodzi? Ale tak jest dziwno. I tam widzę, że pytało być się grafika na kada. Przyjąłem z pomocą, my grafikę za dobrą płatą. Znajdź mnie na Facebooku, bla 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 e, Banda tego pana Dezen, liczę na ciebie Reklamowanie się jest niezgodne Z regulaminem, przynajmniej bez zgody Nas I mała Mała ciekawostka, my już My już, my już mamy grafika profesjonalnego Już mamy profesjonalnego grafika, tylko że no cóż Jest odrobinkę leniwy A w tych czasach minimalizm jest w cenie. Lul. <śmiech> to ja zrobiłem. Nie wiem, czy ta przewodnicza użyła techniki coś przestrzennej, czy były to przypadek. Bo to raczej. Raczej powiedziałbym, że były to. Bo wszystko się zaczęło od jego oka. Wszystko się zaczęło od jego oka. Tym bardziej, że zobacz, że w momencie, w momencie, w którym e, Mitsuki i przewodniczasa się zderzyli razem, ze sobą mnie konfrontowali, ten niby tak z dupy się przyniósł na nas. A raczej dzieciak, o, dzieciak w tym wieku nie, 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 nie posiadałby jakichś wielkich umiejętności. A, i znowu więzienie. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Koda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Koda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, 
I didn't consider it very comfy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with the person. To bring him closer. I don't know what I'm saying. In the sense that there are good prices. What do you do? Czy te ceny są takie duże, małe? Będzie to jest drożej czy mniej, bo nie jestem na bieżąco z cenami. Kup kopalkę. Myślę, że to jest... o kurde. To ładnie te ceny drożyją w takim razie. To się dzieje na tym rynku, że takie ceny są. Co się dzieje? Ten 1070 kupił. A no w sumie faktycznie za tyle mniej więcej kupował 1070. Lol. Ok. <śmiech> Gramy w kolejną giereczkę od Twitch. O Jezu, Saltrek! O kurde, drzwi! Wielkie drzwi atakują. O kurde, drzwi atakują. Drzwi nie zabiły. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Uda, atakują nas wielkie drzwi. O luj tu chodzi. Drzwi nas atakują. Drzwi nas atakują. Jak nie, że to chodzi z kopalkami, kiedy ten gwizdek, to tu to masz filmik. A co jeśli chyba wiem co mam zrobić? O co tu chodzi? Blind, engineer, blind, blind, wszyscy są blind. Research. Aha, dobra, tu można iść dalej. Ło, drzwi się zamknęły. Jak ja powiedziałem, byłem zbyt zniepokojony. Pierwszy raz, nie był tak wyraźnie w swoim pracy o tym, co myśli. Więc gdzie to się dzieje? Ale jeszcze bardziej niepokojący, jego pracy jest potencjalnie zniepokojony dla niego. Nie tylko, że jest w stanie trudności z ideami, ale on po prostu nie może nie myśleć o nowych ideach. I w ogóle był dużo bardziej zniepokojony niż zwykle. Jak wiesz, jak ludzie mogą się zniepokojać o tym, jak czasami ktoś może się zniepokojać o coś, żeby utrzymać się z nimi zniepokojeni cały czas. To była taka rzecz. Tutaj był moment w mojej relacji z Koda, gdzie naprawdę zaczęłam się zastanawiać, czy on potrzebował mojej pomocy w jakimś sposób. Co się dzieje? Nie wiem, nie wiem, nie wiem, nie wiem. 
These games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. No, kurde, dużo. Hello. Whoa. Wow. To jest dziwna muzyka jeszcze jest. Wielkie drzewa. Na no, dobinkę jestem zagubiony. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Because, from my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet, and so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Hello. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. To szybko co powiedziałem do tej pory. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like, 
video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Seven months to start another game. Coraz dłużej mu to wszystko zajmuje. Faktycznie typu jest coraz mniej, nie wiem, kreatywny. Ma. O kurde, koda to jest facet? Nie. To jest facet. O kurde, co to jest? And of course, it's the machine. O kurde, gdzie ja? <laughs> wow, wow, what happened? Some what happened? Wow! So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, 
would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one and the island that you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape game. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the, the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Silnik. A wcześniej też były takie kwiopeczki. To wszystko było częścią... Wszystko było częścią silnika. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good. That I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. They told me how much they enjoyed his games. It was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Um. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Oh. So let's take a look. June 2011, last game of Coda. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This room actually has a maze in it. Lol. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. <laughs> Klocki z tego, Stanleya. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. 
I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Tak ludzkie są w każdej grze są jest. A, to by wszystko tłumaczyło Dezen. Tak, kill dwa dni trzeba pięć dni jest pis PMO. U, czekam. Switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem but I can open this door for you so let me do that was I a failure for not understanding this game I, mean, I don't know why I would be it's not like everything needs to have a solution but I feel it somehow I feel like I failed and I don't understand why I remember it's June of 2011 I'm playing this for the very first time and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Właśnie te trzy kropki. Widziałem trzy razy te kropki i nie powiedział mi, że nie tylko ja się zastanawiałem. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Where did I screw up? Hey Davey, thank you for your interest in my games. Just came not to speak to me anymore. Making games, aren't I? What the this fucking what hell? I poisoned it for you. Yeah. What the fucking hell? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people. It actually felt... It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Ja pierdziele. Ja pierdziele. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself.
and then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Kurva, fuck. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution, solution, solution. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you.
if I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. What now? I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just... Holy f... Holy fuck... Holy fuck... Co to kurwa jest?
Boże, przynajświętszy. Nie wiem, co co powiedzieć. Nie wiem, co właśnie zagrałem. Nie wiem, co właśnie zobaczyłem. Nie wiem, czego doświadczyłem. To było... To było coś, czego jeszcze nigdy nie doświadczyłem. Ja pierdzielę. Co to było? Ja pierdzielę. Co to było? Nawet nie potrafię znaleźć słów. Myśli, żeby opisać to coś. Wow. Wow. Nawet ciężko znaleźć jakiekolwiek słowa, żeby... W jakikolwiek sposób powiedzieć, co to było. Wow, naprawdę. To było coś niesamowitego. Nawet nie wiem, czy powiedzieć czy niesamowitego to jest dobre słowo. Nie, ale no... Znaczy czas, żeby to ocenić chyba, nie? The beginner's guide. Czas przejścia... Godzina... I zaokrągmy tą jedną sekundę. 28 minut status skończone ocena nawet nie wiem jak to ocenić ja no, nawet nie mam pojęcia jak powinienem to ocenić ja pierwsze co to było wow Wow. Dziewięć i pół na dziesięć. Dziewięć i pół na dziesięć. Inaczej tego się nie da ocenić. Niesamowite. A, nie to. Niesamowite, naprawdę. Ja pierdzielę.